Hello everyone, welcome to Aspire Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the chapter that is human reproduction. So this is class 12th topic. The sub part that we will cover that is human reproductive system which covers the both the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system. So we will cover up in this first lecture. Let's see what does uh, the reproduction and how does the reproduction take place in the human beings. Okay. So, human reproduction, when we are talking about the human reproduction, we know that human beings, they are sexually reproducing organisms, okay, because there is no way of asexual reproduction, only the way that is sexual reproduction which goes on in the human, okay, and even the human, they are, uh, we are, that means we are viviparous, viviparous means give birth to their young ones, okay, so ye main uh, cheese hai, jo human reproduction related hai, firstly, the thing is that sexually reproducing organism, okay, humans are sexually reproducing organism and next are viviparous, okay, that means they give birth to the young ones. So, this happens in the series of the steps that take place within an organism, okay. So, the reproductive event or a series of steps called the reproductive events in the human, okay. So, these series of the steps are first of all, okay, ye basic concept is chapter ko leke outline samaj lo aap, okay. Firstly, the formation of the gamete take place and that formation of gamete, gamete formation ke process ko kya bolte hai, gametogenesis, okay. Gamete ban gaya, gamete formation ho gaya, then after that what happened, the transfer of the gamete that is a male gamete that is a sperm into the female gamete. Or we can say uh, not female gamete but is a female genital tract. So that transfer of the sperm into the female genital tract that is known as insemination. Okay. Then fusion of the male and the female gamete take place when after insemination what happened? Fusion of the gametes will occur. Okay. Fusion of the gametes ko kya bolte hai? Fertilization that leads to formation of zygote. Fertilization hua tabhi. After fertilization only the zygote formation will take place. So, after fertilization, he zygote bante hai. Now, the zygote is a one cell. Thik hai? Ek cell ka bana hai. Zygote ek cell ka bana hota hai. It will undergo several other process. Okay? So, now that zygote will develop. Ek jo single ek cell ka bana hua zygote hai. That will go undergo uh, the developmental process. Thik hai? So, formation and the development of blastocyst hoga uske baad. Thik hai? The zygote will change into blastocyst and then its attachment to the uterine wall. Okay. And after the fertilization has taken place, the zygote has formed, ab zygote develop karega, develop karke kya banega? Blastocyst banega. Okay. After that, that blastocyst will, what? They will attach to the uterine wall. Okay. That is the uterus. Okay. Uterus se attach hona, this process is known as implantation. Okay. Implantation ho gaya. After implantation, embryonic development. Embryo bana. Embryo ka development ho ga. So, that embryonic development that is known as gestation. Thik hai? Embryo ka develop ho ka process ko kya bolte hai? Gestation. And then delivery of the baby that is known as parturation. So, this is a series of steps. You see, step by step the process, uh, this will go on. And then finally, the full grown development of the baby will take place and after that delivery of the baby that is parturation. So, in this chapter, we will study all these things about the things, gametogenesis, kaise hota hai, hai? then insemination, fertilization, how does it take place, zygote, mein, how does the zygote undergo several developmental process and it changes to blastocyst, blastocyst ke baad implantation, kaise hoga? this all series of the event we will study separately. Hai? Now, we will start the chapter, we know, need to know the reproductive system, okay, because humans are sexually reproducing organism, okay, so male and the female reproductive system is uh, uh, separately we can study about that and after that we will see kaise gametes bante hai, okay, male reproductive system mein kaise gametes bante, female reproductive system mein kaise bante, how does the fertilization take place, fusion of the gametes take place, so all this we will cover. Now, the male reproductive system, when we are talking about the male reproductive system, it primarily consists of, okay, what are the different parts? That is primary sex organ, that is a pair of testes, 
ठीक है प्राइमरी सेक्स ऑर्गन जिसका काम होता है गैमेट्स बनाना ओके देन सेकेंडरी सेक्स ऑर्गन दैट मीन्स इट इज एसेसिंग हेल्पिंग और इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ एसेसरी डक्ट होते हैं एंड साथ ही साथ एसोसिएटेड ग्लैंड एसेसरी डक्ट है एंड ग्लैंड आर ऑल्सो देयर सो वॉट आर द एसेसरी डक्ट रेटी टेस्टीज यू विल कम टू नो ठीक है दिस इज जस्ट अभी हम लोग एक आउटलाइन में देख रहे हैं कि क्या क्या पार्ट होता है ओके सो रटी टेस्टीज वासा डेफरेंशिया देन एपिडिडाइमस देन वास डेफरेंस ठीक है ये सारे आते हैं किसमें एसेसरी डक्ट है दे आर द Not the primary, okay, but sissing. That means it helps in the passage of the male gamete. Okay. Then there are associated glands. These glands give some of their secretion. They pour their secretion. Okay. So seminal vesicles होते हैं one pair में prostate gland one pair. Okay. It is just one, not pair. And then Cowper's gland. Prostate is not present in pair. Just it is one single. Okay. Now we'll see. This is a diagram showing the male reproductive structure. Okay, so here we can see testes. Then here, how the connection is this thing called epididymis. Okay, there are several seminiferous tubules. Hai. Okay, then uh, you can see here. Ye jo uh, this uh, tubules-like structure we are seeing. This is first of all, ye epididymis here se originate ho raha hai. This is vasa deferens here. ठीक है vasa deferens भी बोल सकते हो. Finally, it is connecting to ureter. ओके एंड देन देर इज सेमिनल वेजाइकल्स जो कि पेयर में है देन प्रोस्ट्रेट ग्लैंड इज आल्सो देयर देन बल्बो यूरेथरल ग्लैंड व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज काउपर्स ग्लैंड ओके सो ये प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी वी हैव कवर्ड देन द एक्सटर्नल जेनिटल जेनिटलिया दैट इज स्क्रोटम एंड द पेनिस सो दीस आर द पार्ट ऑफ द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम नाउ वी विल कवर व्हाट इज स्क्रोटम ओके सो व्हाट इज स्क्रोटम इट इज अ पाउच और पिगमेंटेड सैक ठीक है, so it is pouch or pigmented sac of loose skin, muscles का बना है and even of connective tissue, okay? so scrotum contain, what does the scrotum? scrotum is a pouch like structure which contain within itself testicles or simply testes we can say, okay? so what is the this testes? it is a two oval shaped glands responsible for production and even storing of the sperms, okay? that is a male gamete. so the testes is situated Outside the body, okay, outside the abdominal cavity, in a pouch-like a structure that is known as scrotum. Okay, so it is present outside abdominal cavity, or uh, in a pouch-like structure that is known as scrotum, and that scrotum help. Uh, so when the testis is present in the scrotum, it helps in maintaining the low temperature that is less than the body temperature. Okay, body temperature say low that is two say two point five degree lower temperature it is providing. Okay. Which is uh, very normal and which is very necessary for the spermatogenesis. Okay, formation of sperms may the lower temperature helps. Okay, then the scrotum protect the testicles and the major blood vessels. Okay, so the scrotum protects the testicles, that is the testes and the major blood vessels also. ये protect करने का काम scrotum का है. Okay, so in this diagram also you can see. Okay. so this is a sac like structure this is a sac like structure within this the testicles are present okay then there are several tubules like structure that is known as uh, we can see yahan pe collecting tubules hai okay epididymis bahut sare tubules jahan pe collectively it is showing epididymis then vasa deferens okay then finally uh, after scrotum we'll see what is testes so these are also known as testicles are the two oval shaped and primary sex organs Okay, so the testes develop in the abdominal cavity just below the kidney, just below the kidney when during the early fetal life. Okay, uh, when the the fetal stage may ho. Okay, when the male child is uh, not adult, it is just in the fetal stage. Okay, proper development nahi hua hai abhi. Okay, so they are dis, uh, at that time they remain just below the kidney, and after uh, time goes on, so it descend into the scrotum. Okay. Then the main function of the testes is to produce and the store sperm. Okay. Then there are the uh, this is crucial for cre uh, creating testosterone and the other male hormone. So this testes ka function kya hota hai? Uh, creating or producing the male hormone that is testosterone and another hormones that is known as androgen. Okay. Ab aate the each testes. 
ठीक है ईच टेस्टिस हैज टू फिफ्टी टेस्टिकुलर लोब्यूल्स एट अराउंड टू फिफ्टी सो दिस लाइन इज फ्रॉम एनसीआरटी एनसीआरटी में अगर आप देखोगे एग्जैक्ट दिस पॉइंट हैज बीन गिवन तो यू मस्ट हैव यू मस्ट कीप इन दर माइंड दैट देर आर टू फिफ्टी टेस्टिकुलर लोब्यूल्स एंड ईच लोब्यूल्स कंटेन हाईली कॉइल्ड सेमनीफेरस टूल्स ठीक है सो देर आर हाउ मच देर आर टू फिफ्टी ठीक है 250 टेस्टिकुलर लोब्यूल्स है लोब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर है एंड इवन सो जैसे आप देख रहे हो ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर है लोब्यूल्स है ठीक है दैट इज कंजिस्टिंग ऑफ उसमें क्या प्रेजेंट है सेमनीफेरस टीब्यूल्स ओके दिस सेमनीफेरस टीब्यूल्स यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हो ईच लोब्स हैव वन टू थ्री अराउंड एक से तीन टेस्ट देर इज सेमनीफेरस टीब्यूल्स आर देयर ओके एंड इन विच द स्पॉम प्रोडक्ट इज ओके so this is a simple diagram in which you can see there are uh, this is a testis within which the lobule like structure is present okay and uh, it is having seminiferous tubule aur us seminiferous tubule ka kaam hai sperm production okay now we'll come to the next part that is the testis are surrounded by the three layers theek okay? hai it is been surrounded by the three layers of tissue teen layer ke tissues hote hain and you must remember the names of the tissues That is tunica vaginalis. ठीक है. Outer layer that is tunica vaginalis. It is the outermost layer of the testes. And then tunica albuginea. ठीक है. Albuginea. It is thick, protective. ठीक है. Thick है. Protective layer है. And made of densely packed fibers that further protect the testes. Okay. Again, you can see in this diagram also the outermost layer, the outermost layer of the testes is made up of tunica vaginalis. ठीक है और ये आउटर मोस्ट लेयर है इसके बाद वाला लेयर है एल्ब्यूगिनिया ट्यूनिका एल्ब्यूगिनिया ठीक है एंड इट इज जस्ट यू कैन से अ प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर और जो कि फाइबर्स का बना है इट इज डेंसली पैक्ड विद द फाइबर्स एंड दे प्रोटेक्ट द टेस्टिस ओके नाउ ट्यूनिका वैस्कुलोसा इज द थर्ड मोस्ट लेयर ठीक है इट इज द फर्स्ट थिन लेयर ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल ये किसका है ट्यूनिका वैस्कुलोसा इज मेड अप ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स दिस लेयर Shield the tubular interior of each testicles from the further layer of the tissues. Okay, so as you can see in the this diagram, is me. You are seeing tunica vaginalis. A layer is outermost layer. Is okay. Uh, outwardly, it covers the whole testis. Then albuginia is the next fibrous layer. After that, the innermost layer. Here you are seeing tunica vasculosa. It is made up of the layers of the blood vessels. Okay. Now uh, here you can also see one more important thing. This is epididymis. जहाँ पे बहुत सारे tubules open होते हैं, ठीक है? You can see seminiferous tubules सारे open हो रहे हैं यहाँ पे. This is known as reti testes. Okay? इस portion को बोलते हैं, ठीक है? Reti testes. जहाँ पे बहुत सारे tubules collectively it opens and finally it leads to epididymis. Okay? So here epididymis का भी तीन part है. The head part. This head part is known as caput. ठीक है, that is known as caput epididymis. Then comes corpus epididymis, the middle part. ठीक है, and the lower part, this is known as cauda epididymis. Okay, so epididymis का भी आप देख रहे हो, head है, then the middle part and then the tail part. Okay, then finally this cauda epididymis leads to आगे ये कहाँ connect होता है? ठीक है, this leads to vasa deferens. Okay, vasa deferens. Okay, so this is about uh, the different layers of the testes and we have also seen what is the different part of the epididymis now the seminiferous tubules okay in each testis this seminiferous tubules are present and there there are the low, uh, since uh, we can see the most important thing is that uh, yahan pe sperm production hota hai okay and these are coiled tubules kaisa tubules hai coiled hai okay you can see here The seminiferous tubules they are coil-like structure or एक tubules में आप देखोगे around one to three seminiferous tubules are present to make up the most of the each testis. These are coil. Okay, so each test uh, testicular lobules contain one to three. ठीक है you you have to mark one to three highly coiled seminiferous tubules. Okay, so the cells of the uh, tissues in the tubules are responsible for spermatogenesis. So the cells which are present in this seminiferous tubule, its work is spermatogenesis. That means 
प्रोसेस ऑफ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द स्पर्म सो ये स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस मेन रोल है दिस इज ऑफ सेमीफरस टिश्यू ओके सो दिस टिब्यूल्स आर लाइंड विद अ लेयर ऑफ द टिश्यू ठीक है दिस सेमीफरस टिब्यूल्स आर लाइंड विद अ लेयर ऑफ अ टिश्यू और उस टिश्यू के लेयर को क्या बोलते हैं एपिथेलियम ठीक है एपिथेलियम ओके सो दिस लेयर इज आल्सो मेड अप ऑफ सर्टोली सेल अगर आप देखोगे कि एक सेमीफरस टिब्यूल है ठीक है दिस इज अनदर सेमीफरस टिब्यूल सो देयर इज अ लेयर ऑफ एपिथेलियम का लेयर होगा यहां पे ठीक है एपिथेलियल लेयर एंड विद इन दिस एपिथेलियल लेयर आप देखोगे कि मिडिल में ही देयर आर अनदर सेल्स जिन्हें बोलते हैं सर्टोली सेल्स ओके ओके सो दीज आर सर्टोली सेल्स व्हिच आर present in between the epithelial lining of the seminiferous tubules okay now this layer is made up of the sertoli cell we have seen ye ye part aap bol sakte ho sertoli cells these are sertoli cells theek hai aur ye sara kya hai epithelium ओके, सो द सटोली सेल का काम क्या है दैट सपोर्ट द डेवलपिंग जर्म सेल ठीक है डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द जर्म सेल में हेल्प करता है एंड प्रोवाइड देम न्यूट्रिशन दिस इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रोल ऑफ दी सटोली सेल्स इन दी सेमीफेरस टिब्यूल क्या काम है इसका इट इज हेल्पिंग इन ठीक है डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द जर्म सेल एंड इवन प्रोवाइडिंग न्यूट्रिशन टू देम ठीक है सो नेक्स्ट पार्ट विल सी Among the Sertoli cell, ठीक है, are spermatogenic cells that divide. Sertoli cell में ही आप देख रहे हो, उसी के बीच में spermatogenic cells are there that divide and become spermatozoa and the sperm cell. So Sertoli cell के in among that only we will see, वहीं पे आप देखोगे spermatogenic cell है, जिसका काम है that they will divide and form spermatozoa and बाद में यही spermatozoa किसमें बदलेगा? Sperm cells. ओके, सो द टिश्यू नेक्स्ट टू द टिब्यूल्स आर कॉल्ड लेडिक सेल सो अगर बहुत सारे सेमीफेरस टिब्यूल्स है ठीक है इसके बीच वाले जो स्पेस में आप देखो देखोगे देर विल बी लेडिक सेल्स प्रेजेंट ठीक है देर विल बी लेडिक सेल्स प्रेजेंट स्मॉल क्लस्टर ओके सो ये आप बोल सकते हो लेडिक सेल्स एंड ये सारे क्या हो गए सेमनीफेरस टिब्यूल ओके, इट विल बी लाइन्ड बाय द एपिथेलियल और सर्टोली भी होगा, बट यहाँ पे आप जस्ट एन एक आउटलाइन आप देख लो, सो द टिश्यूज ओवर हियर, सो द टिश्यू नेक्स्ट टू द टिब्यूल्स आर कॉल्ड लेडिक सेल्स और इंटरस्टिशियल सेल, लेडिक सेल्स का दूसरा नाम क्या है? इंटरस्टिशियल सेल्स। नाउ दिस सेल्स प्रोड्यू Okay, each seminiferous tubule already we have seen. जितने सारे जो seminiferous tubule है, it is lined by two types of cell. That is spermatogonia, ठीक है? And the another one is Sertoli cell. So just now, which we have made. तो यहाँ पे हमने अभी क्या बनाया था? कुछ cells बनाए थे. Okay, epithelial layer के just नीचे जो cell है. Okay, तो that was spermatogonia, sperm producing cell. And with in between that there are यही पे आप देखोगे there is Sertoli cell present ठीक है यहाँ पे ही Sertoli cell भी present है and these spermatogonias are also present so this is about one एक semi-ferrous tubule के अंदर का ये internal structure बताया गया है okay so again if we just magnify this image अगर एक आप semi-ferrous tubule को magnify करोगे ठीक है within the microscope you'll see so this is the epithelial एपिथेलियम का लाइनिंग है, ठीक है? एपिथेलियम के लाइनिंग के जस्ट क्लोज टू दैट देर इस स्पर्मेटोगोनियम। वी आर सीन जो जर्म सेल है, स्पर्मेटोगोनिया और स्पर्मेटोगोनियम। ओके, एंड देर इस आल्सो सर्टोली सेल प्रेजेंट। यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हो प्राइमरी स्पर्मेटोसाइट्स है, देन आफ्टर दैट देर इस now, what is Leddig cells? Just we have seen interstitial cells. 
सो दीज आर प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन द सेमीफेरस टिब्यूल्स बहुत सारे सेमीफेरस टिब्यूल्स है उनके बीच के जो गैप्स है स्पेस है इंटेस्टिशियल पार्ट है देयर इट इज प्रेजेंट द लेडिक सेल लेडिक सेल्स आर फाउंड इन द स्मॉल ग्रुप छोटे छोटे ग्रुप में प्रेजेंट होते हैं एंड आर राउंड इन शेप ओके एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन क्या देखा हमने टेस्टेस्टेरोन प्रोड्यूस करना दिस इज द रोल ऑफ दिस लेडिक सेल ओके अगेन यू कैन सी दिस दीज आर द सेमीफेरस टिब्यूल इसमें सस्टेंटिकुलर सेल्स है दैट इज Here you can see ये सर्टोली सेल का ही नाम है दूसरा नाम है ओके स्पर्मेटिड्स आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट स्पर्मेटोसाइट्स आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट विद इन द सेमीफेरस ट्यूब्स ओके नाउ वी विल सी व्हाट इज सर्टोली सेल और इसका स्पेशल रोल क्या है ओके सो सर्टोली सेल्स दे आर आल्सो नोन एज सस्टेंटिकुलर सस्टेंटिकुलर सेल्स ओके सो दे आर प्रेजेंट बिटवीन व्हाट जर्मिनल एपिथेलियम जैसे हमने सेमीफेरस ट्यूब्यूल पढ़ा सेमीफेरस ट्यूब्यूल में देयर इज अ Spermatogonium was present and apart from that there is Sertoli cell. So, sper the Sertoli cell क्या है? They are present between the germinal epithelium of the seminiferous tubules. So, Sertoli cells are found singly, either single present होगा or it is will be uh, it will be elongated also. They provide main role क्या पढ़ा हमने? Nourishment provide करना during sperm uh, to the developing spermatozoa. तो स्पर्मेटोजुआ का न्यूट्रिशन का सारा रोल किसे मिला है दिस सर्टोली सेल ओके नाउ सर्टोली सेल सीक्रेट वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोटीन दैट इज नोन एज ए बी पी ठीक है एंड्रोजन बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन इट इज एंड्रोजन बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन दैट कंसेंट्रेट द टेस्टेस्टेरोन हार्मोन इन द सेमीफेरस ट्यूब्यूल तो सेमीफेरस ट्यूब्यूल में टेस्टेस्टेरोन हार्मोन्स को कंसेंट्रेट करने का काम is sertoli cell ka hai because it is producing and secreting the substance that is androgen binding protein okay it also secrete another protein aur dusra protein kya karta hai inhibit aur inhibitory function hai iska uh, the protein inhibin which suppress the fsh synthesis fsh synthesis ko suppress karta hai okay so the outer layer here you can see these are the again the different uh, various सेमीफेरस टिब्यूल को दिखाया गया है यहाँ पे ठीक है एंड ईच सेमीफेरस टिब्यूल यू विल सी द आउटर मोस्ट लाइनिंग है एपिथेलियल लाइनिंग के जस्ट बिलो है स्पर्मेटोगोनियम सेल्स स्पर्मेटोगोनियम सेल्स के विद इन इन मिडल ओनली यू कैन सी दिस दीज आर सर्टोली सेल्स प्रेजेंट ठीक है यहाँ पे सारे में सर्टोली सेल्स प्रेजेंट है एंड द बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन जो कि एपिथीलियम का बना है ओके सो देर आर द स्पॉम प्रोडक्शन दैट मीन्स different stages of spermatogenesis is taking place within this single seminiferous tubule okay now male accessory duct matlab ye accessory primary role to testes ka hota hai hormones and sperm cells ko produce karna but these are the ducts okay already we have seen the names the male accessory ducts include reti testes vasa efferentia theek okay? hai then epididymis vasa deferens then again vasa efferentia the seminiferous tubules are closed at one end but on the another side they are open theek hai so seminiferous tubules jo hai the cycles mein aap dekhoge bahut sare jab seminiferous tubules present hote hai so this seminiferous tubules are present theek hai and they are just opening ye tubules kahan open hota hai in the reti testes okay सो ये ट्यूब्यूल्स यहाँ पे ओपन हो रहे हैं टुगेदर सो दीज आर नेटवर्क लाइक स्ट्रक्चर यहाँ पे एक नेटवर्क लाइक स्ट्रक्चर होता है ओके सो एक नेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर होता है दैट इज नोन एज रेटी टेस्टीज एंड देन फाइनली दिस इज एपिडेडाइमस व्हिच इज अ कॉइल स्ट्रक्चर जिसे आप बोल सकते हो ये कॉइल स्ट्रक्चर है ओके सो ये सारे क्या हो गए सेमनीफेरस ट्यूब्यूल इट इज सेमनीफेरस ट्यूब्यूल ओके Now this part is known as reti testes. Okay, यहाँ पे आप देखोगे यहाँ पे बहुत सारे tubules हो रहे हैं. This uh, this is opening, so this is vasa efferentia. Okay, ये part epididymis का हो गया. Okay, now epididymis. It is a mass of a long, narrow, closely. So what is this? It is a mass of long, narrow, closely coiled tubules. बहुत सारे coiled form में tubules है, which lies 
along the inner side of each testis. So, this is the outer side of the testis and this is the inner side. So, it will collectively bunch together to the inner side of each testis and it store the sperms. So, epididymis ka role kya hai? Storing sperm cells and also secrete a fluid which nourish the sperm cells. So, it is also producing what? Of the fluid which is nourishing the sperm cells. Okay. After epididymis, there comes vasa deferentia. Okay. Vasa deferens ka kaam kya hai? They emerge, first of all, it emerged from coda epididymis. Epididymis ka head part humne padha tha. Okay. Which is known as scapert epididymis. Then, coda that means the tail part of epididymis. Okay. So, this vasa deferens originate from the tail of the epididymis and each side and leaves the scrotal sac and enter the abdominal cavity through the inguinal canal and that carries the sperm cells. Okay. Then, vasa deferens kya karta hai? As we know, the testis produces the sperm cells and finally it is carried on by the epididymis and after epididymis that vasa deferens will connect it and uh, it will help in ejaculation. Now, there is ejaculatory duct. The paired ej ejaculatory duct are formed from the union of the duct of the seminal vesicles within the ampulla of the vas deferens. Now, they consist of the outermost fibrous layer which decreases the thickness on the entry into the prostate and the layers of smooth muscle fiber. The prostate gland is smooth muscle fibers ke and mucosa which is lined by the columnar epithelium. So, the duct dilate during ejaculation. Okay. Ejaculatory duct ka kaam kya hai? They store and transport the sperm from the testes to the outermost through urethra. Okay. So, now what is urethra? Okay. Urethra originate from where? It originate from the urinary bladder. As if you have studied about excretory system. Okay. Excretory system mein agar aapne padha hoga urinary bladder hai. Then from urinary bladder, the tube-like structure originate that is known as the urethra and through which the urine passes. Okay. So, the urethra originate from the urinary bladder okay, and extend to the penis and its external opening that is known as urethral mutus. And it has the additional function of expelling or ejaculation semen. Okay. Then the urethra include the three parts. Urethra ke bhi three parts so it has been divided. Okay. First part is prostatic urethra, next part is membranous urethra and then penile urethra. Okay. And then the penis that is a male external genitalia and it is enlarged and the end of the penis is known as the glans penis and it is covered by a loose fold of the skin that is known as foreskin. Okay. So, this was about the different structure either it is accessory gland or accessory uh, there was accessory glands. Okay. Ab dekhte hum log the male accessory gland. Accessory matlab iska main role sperm production mein nahi hai but it still assist and help. Okay. So, there are the three type of the male accessory glands. Okay. So, these glands are jinka kaam hai. They secrete some of the substance. So, that is a paired seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle hai jo paired form mein present hai. Okay. So, there you can see this is seminal vesicles which is pair, in pair form. Then the prostrate gland and then paired bulbourethral or copper's gland. Okay. Seminal vesicles ka kya role hai? Okay. So, the, they are paired accessory glands. They produce alkaline secretion. So, they are producing some uh, alkaline secretion which forms 60% of the volume of the semen. Okay. Alkaline secretion, 60% volume of the semen production. This is the role of seminal vesicle. So, we know ye, uh, just uh, when the term has came, semen. So, what is semen? Collection of the secretion from the seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle se jo secretion are hai, prostrate gland se, which of the substance has been producing, bulbourethral and finally the sperms all mixed together. They are known as semen. Okay. So, all the secretion of the accessory gland together with the sperm cells, it is known as semen. Okay. Now, uh, that uh, we are talking about seminal vesicle. So, the seminal vesicle fluid, okay, seminal vesicle se jo fluid hai present, that is uh, the pH is 7.4. Okay. 
that means it is little bit alkaline secretion of these glands forms the seminal plasma so seminal vesicles se jo secretion hai that is forming seminal plasma that contain fructose calcium enzymes then prostaglandins theek hai then the also clotting proteins bhi present hote hai the secretion of the bulbourethral gland also helps in the lubrication of the penis theek hai then fructose is the source of energy for the sperm self movement prostaglandin stimulates the uterine contraction and thus help in the sperm production uh, sperms to move toward the female oviduct and the clotting of the protein helps in the helps the semen to coagulate after ejaculation so clotting protein helps in uh, coagulation so this is the role of the different substances which are produced by seminal vesicles ab aate hai prostate gland prostate gland it is a single gland theek hai it is a single large gland that surrounds the urethra part theek hai urethra ko surround karta hai it produces the milky secretion with the ph 6.5 The secretion contains citric acid hote hain enzymes hote hain and the prostaglandins okay so the secretion of the prostate gland nourishes and activates the spermatozoa to swim theek hai nourish and as well as activate the spermatozoa to swim now the last one that is bulbo urethral gland or the cowper's gland okay you can see over here it is present two uh, that means in a pair it is present bulbo urethral gland now they are present in the pair on the either side of the membranous urethra urethra ke both side mein present hai these gland secrete an alkaline fluid again this prostate gland uh, we it was also secreting little bit alkaline so bulbo urethral bhi alkaline fluid secrete karta hai that neutralize the acid okay alkaline fluid that neutralize the acid from the urine in the urethra As we know, urine urine is little bit acidic, तो urine को क्या करता है? Neutralize. It neutralize the 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 acid from the urine in the urethra, क्योंकि ये just urethra के बगल में ही प्रेजेंट है ओके सो दे ऑल्सो सिक्रीट म्यूकस और एक काम क्या है म्यूकस सिक्रीट करना दैट ल्यूब्रिकेट द एंड ऑफ द पेनिस एंड देन द लाइनिंग ऑफ द यूरेथरा एंड विच डिक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ द स्पॉन्सल स्टैमेज ड्यूरिंग इजैक्यूलेशन ओके so these gland bulbo urethral gland secrete an alkaline fluid which is rich in again yahan pe bhi dekhoge fructose present hai jo ki seminal vesicles mein present tha calcium and certain enzymes that help in lubricating the penis okay so this was all about okay now there are the few questions which uh, might come jo ki uh, at least neat mein ye aate hain is tarah ke questions is sub topic se okay which of the following hormones control the function of the sertoli cells in the human सर्टोली सेल्स का फंक्शन को कौन से हार्मोन एक्टिवेट करता है दैट मीन सर्टोली सेल का काम जो है ठीक है इट द नरिशेस न्यूट्रिशन प्रोवाइड करना जो काम है स्पर्म सेल्स का सो हु एक्टिवेट देम कौन कंट्रोल करता है इन सर्टोली सेल को ठीक है सो वी नो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हार्मोन तो इसका आंसर क्या होगा एफएसएच दैट इज फॉलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हार्मोन ठीक है सो दिस एफएसएच हेल्प्स it is a hormone which control the function of the sertoli cell okay next the function of the secretion of the prostate gland theek hai just we have seen prostate gland se jo secretions hai what is its role it inhibit the sperm activity or attract uh, attacks the sperm cells or stimulate the sperm activity or none of these so already we have covered stimulate the sperm activity so this is the role of the prostate gland theek hai then head of the epididymis theek hai epididymis ka jo head part hai okay coil structure tha humne dekha coil structure hai head part hai theek hai then the next part was there and the tail part okay so the head part ka naam kya tha just you have to remember head part was known as that is known as scaphoid theek hai head part is known as since here it is arcs head head region so that is scaphoid epididymis okay next part the nutritive cell that is found in the seminiferous tubule seminiferous tubule ke bare mein humne padha wahan pe kuch nutritive cells hote hain theek hai and there is also sertoli cells present sertoli cells hai aur sporo 
there are also germinal cells are also present okay the sertoli cell is there but the nutritive cell kon hai sertoli cell is just a nutritive wahi uh, nutritive ka kaam karta hai theek hai so you will mark the c option now the accessory duct in the human male reproductive system accessory that means this uh, accessory mein kya aap dekhoge ki it is just a duct an accessory duct koi glands nahi aane chahiye usme theek hai like prostate ure uh, then uh, seminal vesicles ye sare ko aap exclude karoge because that they are glands and here the question is asking about accessory duct theek hai ye bhi 2022 mein aaya hai neet mein okay so when we are talking about duct so duct mein gland should not come but here prostate gland hai to ye part to wrong ho gaya seminal vesicles hai again it is not theek hai but here ruddy testes jahan pe bahut sare tubules open hote togetherly then it is leading to epididymis and then finally vasa deferens so ye teeno duct hai just it is helping in the passage of the sperm cell so ye teeno duct hai so these are the accessory duct okay now we'll see the female reproductive system okay so what does it include and what is the function of the female reproductive system so all that we'll cover in this uh, slide the female reproductive system consists of what these are the outline theek hai jisme these uh, what are the different uh, primary sex organs and what are the secondary sex organs these all are uh, been given in an outline figure okay so it include it consist of the double okay so the female reproductive system consist of primary sex organs primary the most important okay that is a pair of ovaries okay so primary okay primary sex organ kya hai ovary hai as you can see firstly let's see this diagram over here we can see this part ye part jo hai ovary pair mein hai ovary ovary is present in pair okay and then Uh, the secondary sex organ, secondary organ that is including the duct system. ठीक है इनमें बहुत सारे ducts आते हैं and the first one is the pair of fallopian tube, okay, which is also known as oviduct. So this this part cover ये पूरा part जो है ये fallopian tube को cover up करता है, okay, this part ये these part include ठीक है or we can say also oviduct. ठीक है फेलोपियन ट्यूब नाउ दिस दिस इज द सेकेंडरी सेक्स ऑर्गन एंड इट इंक्लूड द पेयर ऑफ द फेलोपियन ट्यूब देन अगेन इट कम्स यूटेरस ओके दिस पार्ट व्हिच इज नोन एज यूटेरस वेयर इंप्लांटेशन टेक प्लेस देन सर्विक्स एंड द विजिना ओके सो वी कैन सी दीस आर सेकेंडरी सेक्स ऑर्गन ओके देन हियर यू कैन सी यूटेराइन फंडस यूटेराइन कैविटी दिस पार्ट इज नोन एज द यूटेरस ओके and uh, in detail we we'll see about the the different part part also the cervix part and the vaginal part so external genitalia this is the another part okay and then the last the mammary glands also considered as a part of the reproductive system mein hi use include kiya jata hai because the uh, the role of the uh, nourishing theek hai nourishment which is provided by the mammary gland so ye bhi reproductive mein hi cover up kiya jata hai okay now ovary what is the function and what is the structure where it is present so these are the female gonads also we can say primary female reproductive organ primary organ hai theek hai for reproduction and human females are typically born with two ovaries theek hai this part you can see ye part hai ovary ka okay so this part is ovary so two ovary ovarian streaming from the uterus okay so it is attached to the uterus part Before puberty, what happened? The puberty stage, ठीक है? Puberty से पहले क्या होता है? Ovary are just long bundle of tissue, okay? So before puberty, before the teenage puberty, ovaries are just long tube-like structure, ठीक है? But functional कब बनते हैं? It mature after puberty, okay? So ovary का maturation होता है after puberty. before puberty it is just long uh, as a bundle of a tissue so the ovary lies on the either side of the uterus so this part is the uterus part to so iske either side mein present hota hai okay and against the pelvic wall theek hai pelvic region se attach hota hai and it is just on the both side of the uterus they are held placed 
held in a place by the ligament that is ovarian ligament so ovarian ligament help this ovaries to be holded with the uterus so ye uterus part se ovary ko attach rakhne ke liye which of the part is present that is ovarian ligament theek hai so it is attached to the uterus so with the help of ovarian ligament the ovary part is attached to the uterus okay again you can see here it is shown fallopian tube hai this part is uterus theek hai and uh, in fundibulum part ye ovary ka uh, ovary and fallopian tube is attached through the in fundibulum part okay and the next different ye uterus ka different layer, layers hai that is endometrium then the second layer the middle is myometrium okay and perimet uh, perimetrium that is outermost one now this was about the ovary now the ovary is covered by a layer of a cubicle ठीक है एपिथीलियम टिश्यू से कवर्ड होता है द सिंगल ओवरी अगर आप ओवरी को देखो तो किस चीज से कवर्ड है व्हाट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ इट इज मेड अप ऑफ एपिथीलियम लेयर एपिथीलियल लेयर से सराउंडेड होता है कवर्ड होता है सो सिंपली वी कैन से इट इज कवर्ड बाय इट इज कवर्ड बाय क्यूबिकल एपिथीलियम क्यूब शेप वाले एपिथीलियम टिश्यू से कवर्ड होते हैं फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ठीक है एंड दैट क्यूबिकल एपिथीलियम इज आल्सो नोन एज द जर्मिनल एपिथीलियम इसी क्यूबिकल एपिथीलियम को बोलते हैं जर्मिनल एपिथीलियम इट इज कवर्ड विद द विसरल पेरिटोनियम ठीक है पेरिटोनियम से कवर्ड अप रहता है दिस जर्मिनल एपिथीलियम नाउ बिनीथ दिस एपिथीलियम ये जो एपिथीलियम का लेयर है उसके जस्ट नीचे वाले में आप देखोगे इट इज कवर्ड बाई ट्यूनिका एल्ब्यूजीनिया ठीक है जस्ट आफ्टर दी आफ्टर दी आउटर मोस्ट जर्मिनल एपिथीलियम उसके बाद जो आप देखोगे लेयर इन अंदर के इंटीरियर रीजन में दैट इज द्यूनिका एल्ब्यूजीनिया ओके देन बिलो दिस अब ट्यूनिका एल्ब्यूजीनिया के भी बाद अंदर जो आप पार्ट देख रहे हो दैट इज स्ट्रोमा ओके दैट इज ओवेरियन स्ट्रोमा ओके तो ओवेरियन स्ट्रोमा इट इज बीन ऑल्सो डिवाइडेड इंटू टू पार्ट ओवेरियन स्ट्रोमा ये पूरा जो रेडिश पार्ट दिख रहा है यहाँ पे इट कन इट इज ऑल द स्ट्रोमा पार्ट बट स्ट्रोमा इज ऑल्सो डिवाइडेड द आउटर मोस्ट रीजन तो जो सर्कुलर द सराउंडिंग रीजन ठीक है डेंस आउटर लेयर डेंस आउटर लेयर जो स्ट्रोमा का है दैट इज ऑफ कॉटेक्स ओके एंड द इनर मोस्ट स्ट्रोमा के जो इनर मोस्ट पार्ट है दैट इज द मेडिवला और उसी स्ट्रोमा का जो सराउंडिंग पार्ट है इट इज वेरी डेंस एंड इट इज द कॉटेक्स वन सो दिस कॉटेक्स एंड द मेडिवला टूगेदर ये किसका पार्ट है स्ट्रोमा का पार्ट है सो फर्स्ट वन द फर्स्ट वन इज जर्मिनल एपिथीलियम ठीक है जर्मिनल एपिथीलियम है उसके अंदर वाला लेयर क्या है ट्यूनिका एल्ब्यूजीनिया शॉर्ट में लिख रहे हैं बट इट इज यू शुड नॉट राइट लाइक दिस नेम्स आपको याद होने चाहिए एंड विद इन दिस द इनसाइड रीजन दिस इज स्ट्रोमा ओके जर्मिनल एपिथीलियम ट्यूनिका एल्ब्यूजीनिया और उसके अंदर वाला पार्ट है जो स्ट्रोमा स्ट्रोमा में भी जो सर्कुलर पार्ट है दिस इज द डेंस पार्ट दैट इज द कॉटेक्स एंड द इनर द सेंट्रल पार्ट ठीक है ये वाला पार्ट होता है मेटिला ओके This was about the interior of the ovary. Now the ovary has three functions. ठीक है? Ovary since it is a primary sex organ, so what is the function of the ovary? They shelter and protect the egg cells. ठीक है? सबसे पहला काम है shelter provide करना and protect the eggs of the female. ठीक है? So when the female is born with until they are ready for use. Okay. Uh, at the time that is uh, that is before birth. ठीक है जब ऑलरेडी एग प्रोडक्शन होता है तो उसको शेल्टर देना उन्हें प्रोटेक्ट करना एग को प्रोटेक्ट करना सो दैट ऑल रोल इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय दिस ओवरी ओके अंटिल दे आर बीन मैच्योर्ड एंड रेडी फॉर यूज ओवरीज प्रोड्यूस सर्टेन हार्मोन्स दैट इज फर्स्ट वन जो प्राइमरी हार्मोन है जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हार्मोन है दैट इज ईस्ट्रोजन एंड प्रोजेस्टर एंड अनदर मोस्ट अनदर विच इज प्रोड्यूस दूसरे हॉर्मोन्स है दैट इज रिलैक्स एंड इनहिबिन ईस्ट्रोजन का काम क्या है इट इज यूज बाई द बॉडी टू हेल्प टू डेवलप एडल्ट फीमेल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक दैट मीन्स फीमेल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक के डेवलप होने में किसका रोल होता है ईस्ट्रोजन हॉर्मोन ठीक है ईस्ट्रोजन हॉर्मोन हेल्प इन दी इन प्रोवाइडिंग द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ द फीमेल एंड सच एज द ब्रेस्ट डेवलपमेंट एंड द लार्जर हेप्स एंड द एड्स इन रिप्रोडक्टिव साइकिल सो रिप्रोडक्टिव साइकिल को भी मेनटेन रखने के लिए दिस ईस्ट्रोजन हॉर्मोन्स प्लेज अ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंट रोल 
progesterone is another most hormone which is playing a key role in reproduction. So, reproduction is the important role of estrogen and progesterone. Ka hai. Okay. Then, relaxin. Hai, relaxin kya karta? loosens the pelvic ligament. Hai, ligament, pelvic, uh, uh, ligament, it loses so that they can stretch during the labor. Hai, so, stretching of the whole uterus part. So, all this is done by uh, this relaxin. Then inhibit prevent the pituitary gland from producing hormone. Or rokne ke liye, pituitary gland agar hormone zada produce kar raha, to unho hai rokne ke liye, the hormone that is released by the ovary, that is inhibit. So inhibit kya karta? Inhibit karta hai, thik hai? Uh, inhibit the hormone secretion. And it is controlled by the pituitary gland, which is the master gland. Okay? Now, this, that uh, first function to tha, that uh, we have already seen, first most important, shelter and protection. Dusra function kya hai? Hormones produce karna, ovaries ka function. Third most function, what is the, the ovary perform? The ovary releases one egg okay, or sometime more during each menstrual cycle or that is the ovulation period. Okay? So, ovary ka third role kya hai? Production of the eggs. It can be one or it can be more. Okay, during each menstrual cycle. So, inside each ovary, what is there? Okay, this is the interior of the ovary. Here you can see developing primary follicles. Okay, primary follicles hai. Then the secondary oocytes. Follicle cells jo hai, wo surround karte hai. Okay, egg cells ko surround kaun karta? Follicles. Okay, so follicular fluid is also there. Ye pura part stroma ka hai. Already humne padha jo upar germinal epithelium hai, uske baad Tunica albuginia hai aur ye pura part kya hai? Stroma. Thik hai? Where you can see the egg development. Okay. So, mature egg. Thik hai? Mature graphene follicle we can say yaha pe graphene, uh, graph, graphene follicle mature ho raha hai. These all but you see ye to pura hum cover up karenge u genesis mein. But here we can see inside each ovary. Thik hai? Both the ovary since ovary is present in the pair. So, inside each ovary, there are the follicles. Here, what are present? Follicles. And inside the follicle, there is egg, the dormant egg. So, follicle surrounding cell ho gaya, hai? And within that is the egg cell. So, here, what you can see, the surrounding cells are, okay? These are our follicular cells. Okay? And central one, egg cell ho gaya. Okay? Dormant egg also we can see because it is not mature. Dormant state mein hai, inactive state mein hai. And surrounding one is follicular part. Now, when a female is born, she has born, that means at the time of birth, there is 2 to 4 million oogonia to follicles in her ovary. So, uh, that is before the birth or we can say at the time of the birth also, there is 2 to 4 million oogonium already present, but still we can say mature nahi hai, but it still is present. Okay, embryonic state se hi uh, production ho jata hai. Now, oogonia, what is oogonia? The egg mother cell. It is the, oogonia is the egg mother cell are formed and added, thikhe, formed and added before the birth. Thikhe, before the birth, in production hota hai. So, now oogonia undergo mitosis. Oogonium cells may mitosis hota hai, jisse primary oocytes bante hai. Okay. Then, Primary oocytes, each primary oocyte, jitne bhi pr primary oocytes hote hai, it is surrounded by the layer of granulosa cell. Thik hai? So, primary oocytes jo hai, it is surrounded by the granulosa, thik hai? ek layer hoga, that is granulosa cell. And finally, jaise hi wo granulosa se surround hoga, it is known as primary follicle. We will call it, so primary oocyte, when it is surrounded by granulosa ठीक है granulosa से surround हो गया है now it becomes primary follicle जिससे अब secondary and tertiary follicle का development होगा so a large number of these follicle degenerate during the phase of from birth to puberty birth से puberty तरह ठीक है as we move so the large number of these follicles get degenerated also production since we have seen two to four millions of the oogoniums are produced so, since it is so oogonium, hai, so oogonia mein mitosis ho ke primary oocytes banayega. Then finally, granulosa se surround hone ke baad primary follicle is formed. So, large number of the follicle degenerate 
ओके बिटवीन द बर्थ एंड प्यूबर्टी स्टेज एंड देर फोर एट प्यूबर्टी तो फाइनली प्यूबर्टी आते आते देर इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड टू एटी थाउजेंड प्राइमरी फॉलिकल्स आर लेफ्ट इन ईच ओ तो प्राइमरी फॉलिकल्स एट द टाइम ऑफ प्यूबर्टी हाउ मच इट इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड टू एटी थाउजेंड ओनली रिमेन्स रेस्ट ऑल डी जेनरेट्स ओके नाउ द प्राइमरी फॉलिकल जो कि ऊगोनियम में माइटोसिस से बना है फाइनली ठीक है तो प्राइमरी फॉलिकल ग्रेन्यूलोसा से सराउंड हो गया देन फाइनली प्राइमरी फॉलिकल्स आर सराउंडेड बाय मोर लेयर ऑफ द ग्रेन्यूलोसा तो वही प्राइमरी फॉलिकल ठीक है दैट प्राइमरी फॉलिकल है मान लो अब ये इट इज बीइंग सराउंडेड बाय मोर एंड मोर ठीक है बाय मोर एंड मोर ग्रेन्यूलोसा सेल और उनमें ग्रेन्यूलोसा एड हो रहा है ठीक है so since the large number of the granulosa cells being added again on the primary follicles now it becomes secondary follicle theek hai so primary oocytes ke upar jab granulosa aaya to wo primary follicle bana primary follicle ke upar jab granulosa ke layers add honge then finally it will uh, be called as a secondary follicle now the secondary follicles changes theek hai soon changes into tertiary follicle theek hai सेकेंडरी वाला टर्शरी बनता है कैसे विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय अ फ्लूड फील्ड सो सेकेंडरी फॉलिकल ठीक है सेकेंडरी फॉलिकल सेकेंडरी फॉलिकल बिकम्स टर्शरी व्हेन इट इज फिल्ड बाय अ फ्लूड स्ट्रक्चर फ्लूड कैविटी दैट इज नोन एज फॉलिकुलर एंट्रम तो फ्लूड से फिल्ड हो जाता है और फाइनली क्या बनता है ठीक है और वी कैन से फॉलिकुलर एंट्रम पार्ट इसमें आपको देखने मिलेगा टर्शरी स्टेज में ओके नाउ वी कैन कम टू दिस डायग्राम दिस इज दाइड जो एग सेल है ठीक है देन हियर यू कैन से क्यूमिलस और फर्स्ट दिस लेयर इज ये ग्रेन्यूलोसा का लेयर है ये ब्लैकिश वाला पार्ट जो आप देख रहे हो ठीक है एंड द आउटर मोस्ट पार्ट दिस वन इज हेका एक्सटर्ना ठीक है थेका एक्सटर्ना थेका इंटरना इंटरनल वाला जो कवरिंग रीजन है देन द बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन के इनर मोस्ट आप देखोगे ग्रेन्यूलोसा है ये पूरा ग्रेन्यूलोसा वाला पार्ट है ठीक है एंड ग्रेन्यूलोसा रीजन इज देयर एंड फाइनली द फ्लूड दैट इज फिल्ड विद इन दिस ग्रेन्यूलोसा पार्ट दैट इज फॉलिकुलर एंट्रम और सिंपली वी कैन से एंट्रम कैविटी भी बोल सकते हो आप ये पूरा पार्ट जो है दिस इज कैविटी ओके so this is cavity part और उस cavity part को बोलते हैं follicular antrum it is the fluid part okay this is a characteristic feature of the tertiary follicle so the tertiary follicle is furthermost it is converted into mature follicle follicle so tertiary वाला फिर आगे चल के और mature होता है okay it becomes mature and changes into graafian follicle और और development होगा उनमें maturation होगा maturation के बाद finally क्या बनता है वो Graafian follicle. Now interspread throughout the cortex. Cortex part क्या था यहाँ stroma का part जो ovary के अंदर stroma हमने देखा ovary के ये layers है तो ये जो dense part है that is the stroma part ठीक है so interspread throughout the cortex are many ovarian follicles. So बहुत सारे ovarian follicles are being interspread okay and they are known as Graafian follicle in the different stage of the development. so uh, passing the different stage of the development firstly primary oocyte se primary follicles bana then secondary follicle then tertiary follicle then finally the mature follicle that is known as a graafian follicle uh, the shape that it gains okay now we'll move forward in this part only the ovarian follicle comprises of the following part ovarian follicle what does it include what are the different parts so the follicle consists of फॉलिकल में एक ऊसाइट होता है सेंट्रल में ठीक है कंजिस्ट ऑफ वन ऊसाइट द सेंट्रल पार्ट यू कैन सी प्राइमरी ऊसाइट ओके सो इट इज कवर्ड बाय द प्राइमरी ऊसाइट बाय अ होमोजीनियस मेम्ब्रेन दैट इज नोन एज जोना पेल्यूसिएडा ठीक है ये पार्ट देख रहे हो ये आप देखोगे दिस इज द प्राइमरी ऊसाइट एंड इट इज सराउंडेड बाय अ लेयर एक कवरिंग है ठीक है दिस कवरिंग इज नोन एज जोना पेल्यूसिएडा Okay, so the oocyte is covered by what membrane 
that is known as zona pellucida now when the surrounding cell form a single layer ye surrounding cell ek single layer banata hai they are known as follicular cell the surrounding cell forming a single layer that is known as follicular cell now here again you will see jo external part hai theek hai that is known as theca follicle theek hai theca externa externa ke just baad hai theca interna theek hai then the basement membrane okay so pehle kya hai theca externa then the inner most ye externa ho gaya uske baad wala interna part hai okay then after that there you can see ye interna part is over and this is the basement membrane theek hai ye ek basement membrane hai and within this membrane there you can see granulosa cell ye pure purple wale jo aapko dikh rahe granulosa cell theek hai granulosa cell hai iske andar aap dekh rahe ho jo fluid filled cavity is there that is known as antrum antrum filled with the follicular fluid this is the antrum or the cavity part filled with the follicular fluid okay and this part uh, primary oocyte is surrounded theek hai ye part pehle dekho primary oocyte jo hai it is been surrounded theek hai by a single layer yahan pe ek single layer hai which is known as zona pellucida again you can see there are the few cells which is surrounding the zona pellucida that is corona radiata radiata okay so this is above. you can see this is the structure of the ovarian follicle theek hai this a different parts of ovarian follicles ke so when the surrounding cells form a single layer so zona pellucida ke upar aap dekh rahe ho corona radiata is there and the surrounding cell nourishes the developing oocyte so ye surrounding cell kya karte hai nourishment provide karega primary oocytes ko and begin to secrete estrogen as a follicle as the follicle go larger jaise jaise follicle large hote hai it uh, develop and development ke sath it secrete estrogen hormone okay so estrogen hormone where does it uh, secrete uh, produces in the ovarian follicle within the ovarian follicle okay now the zona pellucida just humne abhi dekha tha is diagram mein the same one was before also purane slide back wale slide mein bhi same diagram we have seen so this layer which is known as zona pellucida is surrounded by a follicular cell iske baad bhi aap dekh rahe ho follicle cell se surrounded hai which is known as membrane granulosa theek hai that is membrane granulosa so the follicle has a centric follicular cavity so ye pure jo uh, this follicle they have a cavity follicular cavity and that is known as follicular antrum filled with the fluid okay so large later the granulosa cell lying close vicinity of the oocyte ye oocyte hai primary oocyte primary oocyte ke paas jo granulosa attached hai which is been closer to the uh, primary oocytes jo granulosa cell hai theek hai and the zona pellucida becomes enlarged and forms the corona radiata so just yahi wala part ko aap dekh rahe ho corona radiata kaise bana granulosa develop hote ja raha hai it is being a proper layer surrounding the whole uh, primary ovarian jo ovarian follicle ko surround kar raha hai and the membrane granulosa is surrounded ab just we have seen yahi membrane granulosa hai jo ki surrounded hai theca externa aur interna se theek hai so granulosa ko surround karta hai theca externa and interna when the when a particular egg is stimulated to maturity ab this we have already seen uh, ovarian follicle ab dekhte hai when a uh, particular egg hai since large number of egg is there but we'll talk about only one egg cell okay so a particular egg is stimulated at maturity okay by a hormone so how does it matures because of the hormone which is released from the pituitary gland and the follicle migrate to ovary wall so within the ovary ye sare jo follicles ka development kahan ho raha tha ovary ke andar but jaise mature hote hai theek hai the particular egg is stimulated to maturity theek hai by the kaise mature ho raha because of the hormone which is released from the pituitary gland so pituitary hormones helps in the maturation of the eggs okay and then the follicles that follicle jo ovary ke andar stroma part mein hai it matures and it migrate to the ovary wall so stroma part se ab ovary ke wall tak chala gaya and here the eggs and the follicle grow egg bhi grow karega and the follicle bhi grow karenge 
and they mature. So mature egg, they are ready for ovulation. When the egg is mature, means ovulation, uh, it is ready for. So the follicle with the mature, the follicle with the mature eggs, they ruptures and releases the egg into the nearest fallopian tube. Okay, so finally egg mature ho gaya hai and it uh, get released, it releases the egg into where nearest to the JOB uh, fallopian tube nearest hai. Okay, there it will release the egg and then the eggs travel to the uterus part and uterus mein fir aage implantation ka kaam hoga. Okay. So, pehle egg mature ho rahe hai. Mature ho na matlab ready to ovulate, ready for ovulation. And ovulation ke liye ready hai. That means it will release the egg. Release the egg. But where? Nearest fallopian tube mein travel karega egg cell. Thik hai? The egg travels and finally to the uterus part. Now, the body produce, we know another hormone that our body produce that is progesterone hormone which is a reproductive hormone just we have studied estrogen and the progesterone which helps reproduction. Mein help karta hai. To make the lining of the uterus and this progesterone ka kaam hai, uterus ke wall ko uh, strengthen karna or it thickens the lining of the uterus and to be receptive for incoming egg jo egg mature ho ke uh, fallopian tube se uterus ki taraf aara hai to unhe receive karne ke liye receptivity provide karta hai this progesterone hormone. Okay. It thickens the lining of the uterus and so that uterus become receptive to the incoming egg. Now, this hormone that is the progesterone okay, hormone is made by the new cell growing. Okay, this hormone, progesterone, okay, uh, our body is producing but where it is produced? Kaise banta hai? This is uh, produced by the new cells which is growing. Okay, that is corpus luteum where the old eggs once was in the ovary. Jahan pe old egg the. Now this same uh, corpus luteum ka kaam hai progesterone bhi uh, produce karna. Thik hai. But kiske under mein kaam kar raha hai wo? Pituitary hormone ke. The corpus luteum act as a temporary gland. Thik hai. Just ye temporary period ke liye hi rehta hai. The corpus luteum. Thik hai. Now we'll come to the fallopian tube. Ovary part pehla humne padha tha. Primary part of the female reproductive system. Then come the secondary sex organs that is the fallopian tube or the ovita. So each fallopian tube, each fallopian tube is about 10 to 15 centimeter long. It extends from the periphery of each ovary. Okay. So uh, the fallopian tube that cover, ye part ovary hai, ovary se originate ho raha hai. Just uh, attached to the ovary, the, uh, there is the oviduct or the fallopian tube. It extends from the periphery of the ovary. Ovary ke periphery se leke, hai, to the uterus part. To the uterus and periphery of the ovary. It is uh, the fallopian tube is present. And the fallopian tube conveys the ovum from the ovary to uterus. So fallopian tube ka kaam kya hai? Only it helps the passage of the ovum. Hai, it conveys the ovum from the ovary to the uterus. Is ovary ko uterus tak pohunchane ka kaam sirf this fallopian tubes does. Now the fertilization of the ovum, okay, the mature egg which is released from the ovary, it is passed to the oviduct or the fallopian tube and the fertilization of the ovum takes place at the upper portion of the fallopian tube, fallopian tube ke uppermost portion. Firstly, you can see fallopian tube ka jo pehla part which is very close in contact with the ovary that is infundibulum, that is the finger like projection. Okay, in uh, finger like this, this is, achha, okay, this fimber, uh, finger like is fimbri, Thik, finger se fimbri aap bologe, finger like projection is fimbri, just uske fimbri ke bagal mein hai infundibulum and after that you can see there is ampulla part, okay, ampulla ke baad aata is samas part, okay, and where the fertilization take place, so fertilization of the ovum generally take place at the upper portion of this oviduct, okay, that is ampulla and Okay, ampulla or isthmus ke junction region pe fertilization generally hota hai. This junction of ampulla and isthmus. Ampullary isthmic junction. This is the site where the fertilization take place. Okay, so fallopian tube ka agar aap labeling karoge to fimbri, infundibulum, then the ampulla and isthmus. And uh, the junction of isthmus and ampulla that is the site for the fertilization. Now, we'll see 
uh, oviduct or the fallopian tube has the three part, four parts. Okay, not three, it is four. First part, infundibulum, funnel ke jaisa hai, funnel shape hai, free end of the oviduct, thik hai, and bearing a finger like process that is known as fimbri. Or isi infundibulum ka jo end part hai, that is having a finger like project, that is fimbri, which help in the collection of the ovum after ovulation. Ovulation complete ho gaya, egg mature ho gaya, so unhe collect karne ka kaam hai fimbri ka, which is a part of infundibulum. Okay. So, this is the receiving which receives the mature eggs, fimbri part, which is the part of infantulum. Uske baad aata hai ampulla part. Okay. It is the widest and the longest part of the fallopian tube. Ye part wide bhi hai or longest part hai. Okay. And finally, uske baad aap dekho ke isthmus. It is short. Ye part jo hai, short hai, narrow hai, short, narrow and thick walled part. Short, narrow, but it is, its wall is very thick. Then the uterine part. Okay, it uh, passes through the uterine wall and communicate to the uterine cavity. So, this part is known as uterine fundus. Hai. Uterine part it passes through the uterine wall. Uterus ke wall se communicate karta hai with the ut uterine cavity. Okay. Now, what is uterus? It is the inverted pear shape part okay the shape of the uterus is like a inverted pear okay and it's supported by the ligament through a narrow cervix so here the production of the gamete you can see in this diagram production of gamete kaha hota hai ovary mein hota hai site of fertilization kya hai ampulla and isthmus junction okay so this is here the site of implantation implantation fertilize uh, fertilized egg get implanted where in the uterus part. So this part uterus yaha pe jaha pe implantation hota hai. Okay. Then this part cervical canal and vaginal region together it is known as birth canal. So the cavity of the here we can see the cavity of the cervix. Okay. Cervix cavity is called cervical canal and the cervical canal along with the vaginal part that is known as birth canal. Okay. So this was about the uterus. And in uh, more we will see the uterus wall. Okay. The wall of the uterus has been made of the three layer. So, this uterus part is made up of the three layer. The outermost part, okay, the external part aapko dikh hai. This external part, the outermost one is known as perimetrium, which is the external membrane, external layer. Uske just below, below this peri uh, perimetrium ke just baad jo layer aata hai. Okay, that is myometrium. Okay, that is mostly made up of the muscles. Yahan pe middle thick layer bhi aap bol sakte ho. Middle thick layer hai kiska bana hai? Smooth muscles ka bana hai. And it exhibits strong contraction during the delivery of baby. Okay, so exhibit strong contraction hota hai kaha pe? Myometrium uh, where it is present. And myometrium kiska bana? Smooth muscles ka bana hai. Thick layer hai. Okay, then the innermost layer of the uterus, uterus ka jo innermost layer hai, that is endometrium. It lines the uterine wall. Uterus ko wall ko line up karta hai this endometrium and undergo cyclic changes during menstrual cycle. So, all the cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle undergoes within this endometrium. Endometrium that is the uterine wall se jo close hai. Okay. Now, the vaginal part, it is a long tube and it is 10 to uh, long tube about 10 centimeter and extend from the cervix to the outside of the body. From cervix to the outside body. Okay. It provides a passage or a, a passage way for the menstrual flow. Okay. Now, it forms the path for the birth canal during parturition. Then, the opening of the vagina is known as vaginal orifice. Okay. Vaginal opening ko kya bolte hai? Vaginal orifice. And the vaginal orifice is often covered by a membrane that is known as the hymen. Okay. Now, the next part, external genitalia. The female human external genitalia include few parts that are mons pubis. Okay. Which is the cushion-like structure and fabricated by fatty tissues. And covered by skin and dense pubic hairs. 
The next part is the labia majora, which is a fleshy fold of the tissue and enclosing, protecting the vaginal opening. So, this is labia majora. Then under the labia majora, there is labia minora. Okay. Then the vaginal opening is covered by a partially by a membrane that is known as hymen. And the clitoris part, it is a small finger-like structure that lies in the upper side of the ureter urethral opening. Okay, urethral opening, uh, just upper side of the urethral opening, there is clitoris. Okay. Now, we will see the mammary gland, which is also the part of the reproductive system. The female mammal has a pair of functional, pair of the functional mammary gland. Okay, so mammary gland, they contain okay, glandular tissues. Mammary gland mein kya hota? Glandular tissues hota hai. These tissue like structure fat, it is covered with fats. Okay. Glandular tissues divided into 15 to 20 lobules or simply we can say lobes. Lobe like structure dekh rahe ho. This lobe glandular tissue is divided into lobe like structure 15 to 20 lobe that is known as a mammary lobe. Okay. It is called mammary lobes and within this lobe there is alveoli. Okay. Within this lobe, lobe ke andar kya present hai? Cluster of the alveoli and alveoli ka kaam kya hai? Milk production and then milk ka production bhi and then transport of the milk also done by this alveoli and it is transporting the milk to the mammary tubules. Now, uh, firstly this part you can see fat tissues, glandular tissues are surrounded hai. Okay. Then there is a lobule like structure. Lobules ke andar kya hai? Alveoli present hai. Alveoli uh, helps in the production of the milk and the transportation of the milk to the mammary tubules. So, it will be conveyed to the mammary tubules. Okay. Then finally, yehi mammary tubules will connect to mammary duct and joins to form a broader mammary ampulla. Okay. It will joins to form the ampulla part. Now, ampulla connects to the lactiferous duct. Okay. Lactiferous ducts are present over here. Now, lactiferous duct empties into the nipple and finally the milk production take place so this mammary gland is also the part of the reproductive system i hope the part that we have covered the male and the female reproductive system this part is clear to you thank you for watching